I'm Malayne Hillam. Welcome to Mill Lane Studio. Whether you're new to working with resin or whether you've been working with resin for a while, bubbles will be one of the challenges you're faced with. So it's great to have a few tricks up your sleeve that will help you minimize bubbling when you mix the resin or to know how to pop the bubbles once you've poured your project. These are a few of the tricks that I use that work really well. You can eliminate a lot of the bubbles when mixing epoxy resin by having the resin at the right temperature. If your bottles feel cool to the touch, then place them in a container of warm water for five minutes. Just make sure that the lids are on tightly because resin doesn't like moisture. If you mix cold resin, it produces thousands of microscopic bubbles that are so small that they'll stay suspended in the resin and affect the clarity of your finished piece. After five minutes, take the bottles out of the water and dry them off. The resin should feel slightly warm. Now you'll find it easier to mix and any bubbles created while stirring will rise to the top more quickly where you can pop them. The drawback of warming the resin is that it may reach gel stage more quickly so you'll have less time to work with it, but the benefit is having less bubbles to deal with. Now go ahead and measure out the resin. This resin requires a one-to-one -one ratio, so I'm mixing out equal quantities of each part. The next place you can introduce bubbles is in the mixing process. Whipping or whisking the resin will produce a very bubbly mix, but stirring slowly and deliberately will minimise the introduction of bubbles. I've edited most of the stirring out because it's pretty boring to watch, but make sure that you mix the resin following the instructions in your kit. You can see that there are hardly any bubbles in my mix. But sometimes you'll mix in lots of bubbles, like this batch, and if that happens, let the resin sit on your bench for five minutes to allow them to rise. Set a timer so you don't forget it. When you check back, most of the bubbles will have dissipated. The next trouble spot for bubbles is when you pour the resin or add inclusions. These can get trapped on or under the surface of the items you've embedded. Just tease them out and once they've risen to the surface, you can pop them. If you have a number of bubbles, draw them into the open where they're easier to deal with. One of the simplest ways of popping them is to blow through a straw. The carbon dioxide in your breath will pop the bubble. Keep in mind that your breath also contains moisture which will collect in the straw and can drip into your project, so don't overdo this method. Sometimes you'll find that resin coloured with pigment or powders will continue to release bubbles for an hour or so after pouring. If the resin has begun to gel, you can pull the bubbles out with a toothpick. The resin will self-level so the surface will become smooth again. The next trick is the one I like to use the most. Briefly pass a flame across the project and any surface bubbles will pop instantly. Remember that the resin is a chemical so don't leave the flame in contact with the resin. And my last trick is to use rubbing alcohol. Pour some into a spray bottle and mist the surface lightly. It will break the surface tension of the resin causing the bubbles to pop. The alcohol will evaporate away quite quickly. I hope these tips and tricks help you beat those bubbles. If you found the video helpful, please give it the thumbs up. And to get more videos like this, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.